People in a small Wisconsin town honor a fallen Marine as he came home today. Sergeant Carmen, uh, Carson Holmquist grew up in Grantsburg, Wisconsin. The 25-year-old joined the Marines after graduating from high school. He earned several medals while he was deployed in Afghanistan. Last week, he was one of the victims in the Chattanooga Recruitment Center shooting. The FBI says 24-year-old Mohammed Yusuf Abdulaziz killed Holmquist and four others before police shot and killed him. Here's a look at the route where people are lining the streets with American flags to pay their respects. And Nina Moyni spent the day in Grantsburg and she joins us now. Hi, Nina. Hi, Amelia. People are starting to file out now that the uh, procession has gone through here, but they were waiting for hours, hundreds of people to honor Sergeant Col Carson Holmquist and his wife and his two-year-old son, Wyatt. I'm told his entire family is here back in the town that they've called home. All day there was a sort of a celebration of life mood to it, but again, as they saw the hearse come by and the entire procession of law enforcement, it became very real for this town of 1,300 that's suddenly gotten in the middle of this national tragedy. The road that leads to home filled with all things familiar. Um, it's been such a tragedy and I think people are really affected by this happening here on our home soil. Sergeant Carson Holmquist's aunt and family members overcome by the support from friends and strangers alike. Doing anything that they can to, you know, to make things better, although there's not much that any of us can do right now. I thought it was such an honor to know that we have support out there as a family and just as a community, it really means a lot, especially to Carson. He meant so much to so many people. They say no one was surprised when Holmquist wanted to honor his country by becoming a Marine. He'd say things that meant a lot, but were simple, and he was just very kind. After serving in Afghanistan, he always made his hometown proud for what he did, but more importantly, for who he was. Yes, they were Marines and and um, military personnel, but they also were loving husbands and fathers and sons. I'm told there's also another opportunity for people to come out and pay their respects. Uh, tomorrow will be the actual funeral service for Sergeant Holmquist, but I'm told that'll be a private family service. However, beforehand, here in Grantsburg at the local high school, Grantsburg High, I'm told people can come by from 11 to 1 tomorrow and pay their respects in a public ceremony. And I'm sure there'll be a lot of people there, Nina. All right, thank you.